Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to make another pocket style uh, using my uh, paper stash and um, I just wanted something quick and something simple. And so I thought this was um, a great one that I had um, decided to put together and it's a perfect treat or favor bag style. And then there is also a front uh, side tuck pocket so you could add a note card or a tag with a message or, or also a, a name card if you wanted to add um, a name card to uh, add to the treat bag. And you can make a bunch of these for party favors, uh, for uh, craft fairs, or even just something you want to send some happy mail. And you can make these in any size you like. Uh, just use your paper stash. You don't even need to use a scoreboard or to measure out the measurements. But you can use a scoreboard if you want to make a bunch of these um, in the same exact size so then you'll always have the same uh, score lines but um, these are just two that I had made and it was just so easy and um, I um, also made some using some book pages that I'm going to be uh, adding some fun uh, ephemera pieces and a little goodie pack for uh, my Etsy store for those that are into doing junk journaling or uh, shabby vintage style projects so these are the ones that I've uh, made to go in my shop and there were some fun fun little uh, goodies in here so I made them with the book page you can use anything you like to um, make these digital uh, digital prints music sheets so um, it's really easy I just added here a little tag which uh, is cut apart just to wind around the treat bag and I'll just take it out this way just so you can see so here is the side tuck pocket and um, this is just a three by four note card so you can write a message uh, and place it in the front and then there is the treat bag part that's on the inside so you can add heaps of stuff in this one and let me just see I don't know if this one will fit I um, just wanted to show you how it looks like if you wanted to add some bulky stuff in here. Let me see. So I've got one of these um, folders that I made using a tour by tour paper to make this whole complete fun little uh, stationery pack. I can't remember what I called it, but it was a. This is a really fun little project. I'm just going to see if this fits in here. So you can make it to fit like some a journal if you wanted to make a journal for somebody or a little uh, stationary folio. I'll just place that in there. So that does fit in there. And then you've got a note card that you can place there if you wanted to add the message to, um, to who you want to send it to. So that doesn't fit in that way. So I've got a, this is a small, so this one fits. So you can fit that in there. And then you can also fit another one up here too that's that one that i just um had um just showed you so that can go in there and then i've got another one and so you can fit two inside this larger size so that's perfect for that so that was good that, that was able um able to fit. i don't know what measurements let me just see this one is about four and a half inches by about five and a quarter of an inch but you will just measure it out to how you would like to make that and then this one here is the smaller one I think this is cute I do love small pockets and it also fits a another three by uh, four note card or journal card and then I just placed a little file tab shape uh, to the side there just to use it like a pull tab and that goes in there nicely and then I've got these little booklets that I've made and you can add a booklet in there that fits and this is the vellum cover uh, match booklet that I also made a while back so that fits in there too and you can add chocolates in here you can add whatever you like so really easy and let me show you how you can make these oh just before I, I show you these are the ones that i'm going to have in my shop i'm going to do a video and of an update of all of my new etsy listings i'm still working on a few more um, items before i share with you um, um in my video uh, these are just uh, some of my digital prints that i've made and these are my bouquet kind of flowers that i have in my in my from my room in my bedroom 
so I added that to make it into a digital so there's a couple of those and then here is the side tuck pocket and I've got in here some collage a collage journal card or file card and there is another one here with a side tuck pocket with some ephemera pieces so they're gonna go inside the little pocket and I just added some of these little ephemera pieces that I've stamped and there's some stamping on my tea dyed paper so just you can make these in any of your paper style or your crafting style uh, projects so that goes in there and then up here is the top pocket where I've got more fun stuff in here so I'm going to be showing you a more detailed look um, after that um, in a hopefully in a few more days so there is your pocket and that's your top pocket with the side pocket and it's just used a uh, book page and you can make again a ton of these if you wanted to so I'll just put them to the side and I'll fix this up later so let me bring um, my paper I'm just using uh, a paper from my stash and so to make uh, your pocket you just want to make sure that you have a, a nice length for your paper and then the height will be just whatever height you want your paper to be and you just want a nice length so that you can create the fold and all I'm going to do uh, so this one here that I have uh, measures uh, 10 inches by about five and a quarter inches and I'm not even sure what size the bag or the treat bag is going to be but it's, it doesn't matter so what you're going to do uh, your left side, uh, your right side here, you're going to fold this over about three quarters of the way in. So if this is your center part, you want to go over a bit over the center. So you don't want it in half. So if you want to make it easy, just go half, uh, fold it in half and just bring it in about that distance, which is just depending on your, your paper size too. So I've got just under two inches. I'm just going to eyeball it, doesn't matter. Just hold that down. Then you're gonna bring this part and you're gonna fold this over as well. So actually I might go in a bit more. I'm gonna go about there. And I'm gonna bring this piece and you're gonna fold this over as well. And what you want to try and do is you want to create a bit of an overlap in here. So it overlaps about three quarter of an inch in so about that much so if you're happy with that then you're going to have this as your side tuck pocket and this will be your top pocket so you're just going to decide how far you want to go out how far you want to go in just as long as when you fold this part over it overlaps enough so that you're able to glue it to the back of this part that's all you want to try and do and then you just decide on your width of your pocket so I'm just again I'm just going to fold it there making sure I've got enough overlapping of about an inch or just a less of an inch and then once I'm happy with that I'm going to press this down and fold it down and then I'll fold this down and so now it's given me a wide pocket but if you think that's too wide, before you fold it down, just sort of play around with it again. And actually, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just leave mine this size and um, go ahead with that. And then you're gonna open that up. We're gonna fold the bottom part up about half an inch. This is going to help close your, uh, close your bag. you've got that all folded out we are now going to remove this middle panel here so we'll just cut that out and then I'm going to just angle cut that side So there is your paper and what we'll do now we're going to bring this side in we're going to bring the left side in we're going to turn it around this way 
and then we're going to apply glue to this uh, first flap and fold it over and we're going to close that side up and then apply glue to the next flap bring that over and that will close off the bottom of your uh, bag you can see that it doesn't line up but that doesn't matter because that's going to be at the back you're not going to see that and then we'll flip it back over so now that bottom part's all nice and closed you've got this part that's open what we're going to do here we are going to put some glue along the top up until you get to the edge of the front flap so just run a bit of glue until you get to there and that will close off the bag so I'm just going to press that down hold that down until it's nice and sealed and you can see now it's already a bag and then you've got yourself your tie, uh, side tuck pocket so you've got your side tuck pocket there and then you've got your top pocket so in actual fact it's just one bag with the extra side pocket um, just so that you could slide something in the front and then you still got room in there and it's a nice wide opening so that's just a, another pocket idea for you if you wanted to make a treat bag or a favor bag to add some stuff inside um, so you can use this with any size i'm just going to see if i've got another Hmm, let me see. I've got this piece. I want to try and make another one. So I'm actually having fun and I just wanted to show you different styles. Let me just cut this little piece out. That's I'll just quickly cut this out and just even out the paper. So I don't know what size this is. I've just sort of just found this on my desk. Um, so let's make um, another piece. Let me just is this straight. Let me just cut this again. It's not straight. One second. I'll just quickly trim this down. I should have been a bit more better prepared, but let's go ahead and try and make a smaller size because I love small pockets so you can see this is a nice long piece and then again I'm not too sure the height of the um, paper let's see just in case you want to make a smaller one this is about six and a half inches wide by about just under three and a half inches so this might be a nice little small one but great for little ephemera pieces so I'm going to go over about there slide it in about there and then I'm going to bring this side over mark up in a little bit more bring that in just want to make sure I'm going to create an, a little flap just overlap that part just enough so I can glue it down and then I'm kind of happy with that size so let's press that down and I've got myself a little bit of a gap there so I could glue that top part down this is going to be a cute little pocket I think and I'll open that up fold the bottom up now because it's a smaller pocket I'm not going to go up about half an inch I'm just going to go up a little bit so it still gives me enough uh, you know depth for my pocket so that's just enough to be able to close the bottom let's now remove the middle part got glue everywhere and then I'll angle cut that that part Fold that in, fold that side in, turn it around, Let's glue this first. I've got 
bits and pieces all over my glue bottle. Fold that over. And then... You can see that it doesn't line up because it's got a lot of layers to fold over so you might not have that all lined up but if you're happy with that that's fine too because you're not going to see that part and now I'm just going to glue this top part and just bring it right on until I get to that corner and just press that down And it's a cute little pocket. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know why, I just love little pockets. I love little inserts, little tuck spots like these. So there is a smaller size and you can fit a few little smaller. What have I got here? I've got a library card or library pocket. You can pop that in there and add some more stuff inside and pop that in there. You can even go that way as well if you like. You could uh, dress up this part here and add a little tab. Let's see if I've got a tab. Mm, here we go, I've got one. Which I probably should have done first, but I think that should still be okay to add this on. You, know, you can do a lot of fun stuff to decorate your pocket. Let's see how this will look on there. I'm just going to slide that in the front here just to decorate this a little bit more. Got glue on there now. So that's cute. And that just also gives it a little bit more um, sort of like holds your goodies in place too when you've got a little tab. So that's another fun way to do that. And then you can, again, you can add a couple of little dangles if you want there. You could do some embellishing. So there is another fun little pocket for you. So this is just a fun little idea. Hope you enjoyed this a pocket ID using your paper stash and a, just an easy fold a pocket. And I hope I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.